How's it going? This is Try Eye Vision, and today I have Shades of Motion, hashtag Shades of Motion on Instagram and every other social media. I'll have his social medias in the uh, description below. So this is the same uh, gentleman that came and spoke to me on the first one. So I'm blessed and I'm happy that he's come to talk again, and I'm blessed and happy that I have the opportunity to talk to someone like this because in my daily life, I don't really have this opportunity. So, uh, how, how are you doing? I'm doing well, love and light, that means a lot. I'm doing well, um, you know, we're still in this global crisis together. We're breathing, and as long as you... You broke up, you said, as long as we're breathing, and what? As long as you have breath, you have life. 100%. So um, the biggest thing that I see that's going on right now is uh, there's a lot of it's a lot of smoke and smoke and mirrors. There's a lot of clown stuff going on. And I just I just feel like most people aren't even aware at all still, even after everything that's been posted on the Internet, every, all the information that's out there. It's like people are just ignorant, man. And I just I'm very. uh feel defeated not with myself I feel great and I'm elevating and I'm doing these things but I just feel defeated in terms of like watching everyone around me crash and burn and they refuse to listen to people like me because they're just so caught up in demon living that even they could see someone like me living healthy clean house and have all these things they'd rather listen to the guy that has nothing but they value his like clout or value his whatever reputation that's what we've come down to as long as this person has a reputation a clout or a following don't really fucking care what they say and it's just we've it's, it's bad and um what you just said about the people not being just remind me of this little story called the elephant elephant rope story and basically it's this baby elephant it's being tied on the on their foot by rope and they were when they were young they were not able to get get past the rope but then 12 years later when the elephants are big that same rope that was holding them when they were young is still holding them. they don't believe that the rope so they start trying yeah so my question is it's like how do we operate in this realm when almost everyone around you is operating like that like it's like, oh, you got to dumb down your frequency. You got to try to, sometimes you got to know when to blend in. How do you feel about that? I'm not blending in, bro. <laughs> no, man. Like, the, the, I stumbled at this quote saying that you know, religious people do whatever they have to do, even if it's not right. But spiritual people do what's right, even if it's if it's not what you're supposed to um, I'm paraphrasing that quote when some and why I say in this situation it's about first the accept I think the acceptance of a reality individual because you know every single experience is reality you are carrying that consciousness of experience and you are recording a consciousness global all consciousness so you're a specific part of it and what you're experiencing is as true so the first is the actually believe that there are multiple versions of reality that multiple realities exist in one and knowing that you have a decision to create whatever that you want and holding that in your belief and in your I believe that's really important because if you look around you you're going to see so much deferred and so much dissonance and it'll be easy for you to want to conform to the masses if you want to form this evil right. and this I, I believe the idea of right or wrong is what's fucking up society big time that rigidness on it's either black or white and again the same reason why I call myself shades is ever nothing is ever it's all a spectrum it's going to be brighter it's always going to be dark now it's about understanding where you want to put yourself in that spectrum nothing is wrong nothing is right but where do you want to be in that spectrum is it comfortable for you and is it 
edifying your consciousness is it where you want to be and if it's not where you want to be you have a choice to change your beliefs I agree so speaking of this con also, or go ahead sorry no no go ahead um, no no you're good also, I just wanted to add on add on to this as well is, is also accepting there is much knowledge beyond yourself what you know already I believe we walk around a lot of people and I you know I see myself falling a victim of it as well and believing that there is only in believing you know it yep believing like there is a set you know quantitative knowledge that needs to be acquired you know what I mean and the minute you believe that is the minute you limit your intelligence yep so and it's about also accepting that always knowledge beyond you and the more you know the more you realize you don't know and that's what keeps you getting it yep and the best example that i could think of is how ignorant people are and they always and they're still having this discussion are we the only life on this in this universe the, the most ultimate brain dead if you're thinking now you i do not care you're brain dead if you're saying that you're brain dead like, like wait, because that's like the easiest to accept it's the, like I always remember, I don't know how your exam, your um, high school exams were, or how they were structured. But here in London, you know, when you're doing a max equation, sometimes you get a question, and it's like two marks, one mark for the answer, one mark for working it out. Yep. And but sometimes you just you know the answer already. You know, like you come in, it's like okay, it's four. Show me how you got that. Why? You know that. You know, some people can be like that. Like, why did, like, I gave you the answer, right? Give me my marks, but there's one mark for actually working it out. But not everybody is willing to put in that extra focus and extra consciousness to work it out. People no. just want to be conclusive and just want to pass the exam and believe that this is just like a path and a journey just to go through and <laughs> knock this out, knock this out, take this off, take this off and everything. And it's what, it's what we've been taught from the beginning, you know, get this, you know, in life, you gotta get this degree. You gotta, you know, be this person. You gotta be a doctor, be a lawyer, and get this certain job and work on this person, and then you'll be successful. Like, mm -hmm. like little milestone mm -hmm. checkpoints for life. Mm -hmm. That really isn't the case. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of information, a lot of knowledge, as many ways like, you can kill a bird. You know what I mean? One hundred percent. I just call it all a brainwash. So for the people. You have to understand from an energy perspective, if y'all want to view me and him, I'm just throwing this in real quick. I'm a little bit more of a hothead. I'm more, I'm more of an extreme energy. I'm more of a Vegeta. And this guy is more of a Goku. And if you're watching this, you should be able to clearly, <laughs> clearly see it. Even though we're both conscious, our energies are completely different. You could definitely tell he's way more patient than me. But at the end of the day, we're both conscious. So... There is no one set path to consciousness and there's no one set energy and anime show it. All these different heroes are rescuing people, right? But they're all different personalities. But at the end of the day, they're there to save you. I'm here to save you. I might sound rough. I might sound a little mean. But all I do is give good information and tips to better your life. But people don't want that now. But anyways, um, I just had to throw that in there. And now that I explained it, if you're conscious, you just... I shouldn't even had to explain that, but most people, you know, it's difficult now, bro. So, um, how's the weather where you're at? Like, uh, uh, like the highs and the lows, like 50 degree days, 20 degree nights. Like, how's it looking? Um, we, we use Celsius down here, not Fahrenheit. So, uh, oh. not, even though I, even though I'm an A-level chemistry, I still, I'm still a bit shabby with the calculations. But okay. we had a snowstorm. Well, I wouldn't call it a snowstorm, like Texas stuff. Um, Texas, but we had like a little three days of snow and we was like, like minus, we had the lows of minus five degrees Celsius. Okay. It, it was quite bad only because of the contrast. We don't get snow here, you know, much often. I, I even think I saw some people celebrating Christmas again when they saw the snow. <laughs> <laughs> like we don't get snow here. 
Jesus. Went back uh, a couple months. When that came, so we really, <laughs> we, we really felt we really felt the brute force of that weather. We like noticed that we weren't prepared for it. So if we do end up getting something like Texas have, we are no way prepared for for onslaught. Yep. I was just thinking that today. Scary. Yeah. It's scary how consciousness and how uh, uh, synchronization work because that's the same thoughts I was having. Exactly what you said is exactly what I was thinking earlier. And like, fuck, what happened to Texas can happen to us. I was like, you need logs. Even if you don't have a fireplace in your house, if it comes down to you need to chop some shit up outside, you need to, if you're cold, you can't get heat. Fuck it. We starting to heat out outside. It's better than nothing. Yeah, it's not a bonfire, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, for real. My love really goes out to the people in Texas, honestly. Mm-hmm. He started a bonfire, bro. Really send my love out. I see you can't you can't melt like, and then power's going off and everything like this. Bro, I was told there. It's like as soon as I saw your video, like I was like, oh my gosh, this is what winter like. It's dark. And now it's like. Guys, let me tell you something about prophecy because this ain't no prophecy. This is how it's it's every prophecy, even the ones in the Bible, are just basically predictive program. Yep. And all they do, all they suggestion for a potential future, the f the future is never set. But the more people focus on a specific timeline in the future, the more the the more probable that that reality and time like is coming to pass so if i say if i just say and think i'm gonna go over in the next minute and then within the next minute i get up and walk over there, i've made a prophecy and i fulfilled it but the minute i say i want to go over there and the next minute i decide to go over there i'm gonna go over there, i just chose a different time and that's basically what this mystical prophecy prophetic prophecy is you know, the people who have the ability to see, see the future, or just people who are able to see the multiple possibilities in the future, multiple, multiple timeline, timelines. Mm -hmm. And this is what's been happening with the government, and they know this. They know that they could just put suggestions into you, and you're going to do the work for them. They don't need to force you to believe in their agenda. They just need to put, bring little suggestions, put this, put... You know, put one dot here, put one dot here, and leave the rest of you yep. connected to yourself. You know, it's funny. I was just having that and same thought a couple of days ago. Sad. It's crazy how consciousness works. Go ahead. Like, they're not they're not putting guns to our heads. Yeah, we're 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 choosing to go down this path. Yeah, they influence it, but ultimately, it's your consciousness and your brain to eat that shit up, or you reject it. And most people are eating everything up. <laughs> Eating everything up. And, thing is, and it goes down to the mindset. I was having a conversation with my bro the other day about human evolution, about us evolving from a third dimensional survival ment mentality into more of a conscious fourth dimensional love mentality. Because from what you just said that, you know, the key word, they're eating it up. And in a survival mentality, you think that every food that comes before you, you got to eat up because, you know, you got to hype in it. Winter is coming. I gotta eat everything I can get my hands on. But consciousness, if you get out the mindset of survival become and go into consciousness, you realize that I actually need to nitpick and look for the red berries and look for the poisonous ones and pick it, pick around and choose, you know, and be wise about how I work on longevity and the work on evolution rather than focusing on just survival. Because survival is about is you know, down in the root chapter is about now. Like what we're getting now but Trans consciousness is up in the higher channel. It's about transcendence and transcending the physical realm. This is which is why our divine consciousness is melded with our bodies, which is the physical and made that mind, body, spirit complex where we're at, right? It's mm. a network. Oh, you standing right here, you're not just you, you're a network of mechanism. You're one of the efficient in the universe. One hundred percent. Not just really in my video. Everything you're saying is like in my video, I was just saying about how most people now are basically operating like dogs in terms of 
an owner and it needs that command when in reality yeah. it, and it's sad because the people back in the day worshiped cats they didn't have dog sculptures they had cats and cat heads because they realized cats are spiritual cats don't listen to an owner cats operate on their own they think on their own yeah you can have a friendly cat but at the end of the day that cat is independent and if you pester it too much they're, it's going to attack you like, stay away man. <laughs> like 100 <laughs> percent dogs are way more forgiving than a cat dogs are way more obedient than a cat and they take commands way more than the cat on average on average some people are like, oh my cat listens you know how people got to throw the one anomaly in there you know how people are to the uh justify their tiny thinking so yes there might be a cat that can be more friendly than a dog yeah there could be a cat that might be more obedient than this one dog but if you do a big number sample we should, it's just common sense we know that dogs listen more than cats and that's what these people are doing huh i said it's all about information it's in the dna that's the information they carry and that's the majority like there's always going to be anomalies in information you know what i mean yeah but the general consensus is this is the dna the cat acts like this the dog acts like this you know what i mean Yes, and, and, and what I'm sh and then the the relation to that is is why I was mentioning that in my video is it's the same thing with these people. There's like it's like there's no the, the guy us we we know what's going on. We're controlling this game, right? They're not at the game. They're not aware the game is on. So it's just like everything is a it's like a program command to the brain. Boom, go. Boom, go. For us, it's like that command comes in. It's like, oh, ho, ho, ho. You trying to tell me to go eat McDonald's? <laughs> you trying to tell me to wear two masks outside or in a car by myself? We're not like that. <laughs> Those commands are coming to me, and I'm shielded. I'm shielded. No. That's all we got to be. What? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> what what are you trying to are you trying to kill me? You got a long ways to go, bro. Exactly. And Mo also, but just on butt resting what you said as well. It's like it's like when you when you when you have like that authority, you know, equilibrium. And this is also what religion is also implanted with implanted in us as well is to look outside for your divinity. So you're always, like, people are always going to be looking beyond themselves. They're not going to believe whatever it is that's coming from their, their intuition, which is that same light that is shining, you know, through everything. You know, that consciousness is what we carry, and it's our guide inside. They don't trust anything outside rather than trusting, and trusting that one within them. So anyone comes with, you know, with some shit, just because it's not your shit, you know, you, you know, you give it reverence beyond yourself. And that comes to an aspect of self-love as well and self-respect and about respecting that divinity within you. Not because, you know, you're you and you should respect yourself. No, it's because you carry that divine spark and all of the all in you. need to respect that. Even if even if you don't you don't see yourself as that value, you need to understand that that light is in you. It's your birth and you need to respect it big time. And you need to respect it by putting bringing that forward when you whenever you see anything coming coming into your energetic field you know you need to put that forward and allow that to filter for anything that's coming in because if you don't then you're just going to mean any, anything and everything <laughs> and anything and anything no look at how life is right now it's bad because of what you just said exactly and <laughs> just what you just said like, it just sparked at me and you know we're talking about this pandemic and I just want to put it put put it out there. This might throw some people off, but I want you to understand is when we have disease, it's not the disease that's causing the symptom. And I'm gonna say it again: when we have disease, it's not the pathogen, sorry, that is causing the symptom. It is your body reacting, <laughs> trying to expel toxin, so your body can be more equipped to get rid of that path. 
that's what the symptoms you experience. So basically, in a nutshell, the more shit you have in your body before you get it, before that pathogen gets introduced in your system, the more severe your symptoms are going to be. Yep. And he's telling the truth because so, I, I went through it. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just let you get. Please hold on. Um, like, because when if your body is help, like when the sorry, when the pathogen gets introduced into your system, it's actually a blessing because this we are harboring so much bacteria and viruses in our system. The cause of the disease is not vi- vi- it's not microorganisms, and we've been lied to by mainstream medicine all this e- all these years. Mm-hmm. That's not the cause of it. because there's everywhere bacteria and viruses. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. what causes the disease is when the ba- that when that bacteria and pathogen introduced into your system, it's actually a blessing because it triggers a seasonal reaction in your body. Mm-hmm. To heal itself. Mm-hmm. So, if anything, you should see it as a blessing rather than the pathogens mm-hmm. itself. Mm-hmm. As a, what you don't like is discomfort, symptoms. And mm-hmm. what mainstream medicine is doing is curing that symptom, is numbing your body from experiencing those symptoms, which is not helping you. Uh, you need to understand, like what I said er- earlier, uh, we are a complex of a spirit, mind, and body. And this body right here don't speak no English. Mm-mm. The way to communicate with you is through sensation, through feeling, through pain. Yeah. If you ain't going on the right, if you ain't going on the right path to go back, hey, 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 hold up, you feel a little belly ache, you stub your toe or something, but you just think, oh fuck, this is so unfortunate. You know, I stubbed my toe, but your body's trying to communicate with you, and if it keeps knocking at that same door, it's gonna use your con- subconscious is gonna use something louder to get your attention this is how you start getting the cancers you start getting this this and all this and all that it's all your body if your body doesn't want it it's not going to manifest yep and the reason like anyway had nothing go, go on i was just going to say real quick like what an example would be like people who get like kidney transplants and stuff in the body like knows that's not it, it, it's and it rejects it exactly. yeah so. exactly as an example exactly like it's still, like th- we have no conscious control over this this is how this is how <laughs> awesome we are Blessing. yeah we don't like, this is doing, like, you, you, if you had a hand in it you fuck it up like <laughs> yeah this complex system is built in yeah and, and real quick Just like a car. go ahead real, real quick to throw this in and then you can comment on this because this is juicy Imagine, this is how you know we're not the body. Because if we were the body, we would have to manually, imagine life, it would suck. If we had to manually make the blood transfer through our body, if we had to manually breathe, if we had to manually make saliva move around, we don't do none of that shit. The body is its own thing. You're not this. We don't do nothing. The body operates on its own. It manages its own. All we have to do is do things on the outside to make sure that it's operating well. You have to be eating clean and doing these things to make sure it is operating well and to make its job easier. But when you're eating McDonald's, when you're not working out and you're doing all this stuff, oh, I gotta, it has to literally sit in your stomach all fucking day and night just to break down food. So when something else happens somewhere else, you're basically, I was just having this conversation today. People are spreading, they're, they're spreading out all the white blood cells and all the workers and they're and then when shit happens, it can't react. Oh, we got to take care of this McDonald's, bro. Oh, we got to take care of this uh, uh, fucking diabetes, bro. We got to take care of this fucking uh, foot that's gangrene and, and needs to get cut off, bro. We can't handle that next issue that came in. So I'm like me, I'm not eating that trash. I'm healthy. Let me get a scratch. Shit healed up in two days. Let me get sick, which I'm not getting sick because my body can focus everything. My body's bored. It's bored. It's in uh, my body's. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure you're the same way. You're healthy. You're looking clean, and you're looking, and you know, the nice stomach and everything. So I was gonna say is what you just said. I also came down with the with the with the virus the other day, and the the symptoms I experienced 
made me think like, okay, well, if someone isn't straight, this is really going to challenge you. Yep. Me and him, our bodies are bored. Our bodies are basically just in a maintenance flow mode. Like it just maintains us at night. Just check, make sure the blood's flowing, make sure this meal gets to these nice muscles, make sure we don't, you know, we don't have to, you don't have to break down McDonald's all day and night. You don't have to worry about diabetes. You don't have to worry about these cancers. Like our bodies are bored. So when something happens, let's go. It just got scratched. Healed up in a day. <laughs> let's go. Whatever it is. And that ain't even no lie, man. I, I remember that happened to me one day and I thought I had superpowers. Like, <laughs> bro, my finger and like I came back within the hour, like, like, I ain't no joke within an hour. I see his cap for Oh, my gosh. This is real. I got my tonsils taken out. And I wasn't even of this energy right now. He said I had the fastest tonsil recovery he's ever seen. Ever. I'm, I was the top healing tonsil person. I didn't even take a pain pill. He said when I, when, at the time that I went in for the check-in, he said even up to that point, people were begging for another uh, prescription. I didn't take one. And, wow. and at the two weeks, my scabs were already off and it was pink and healing. And he said he's never seen that before at two weeks. And wow. this is because of, and like I said, this was before where I'm at now, but I've always been conscious and of, compared to other people of higher energy, now the gap is just too huge. But even before, it was a decent gap. So that stuff really does take into play. And I was eating bad and stuff back then. So I can only imagine if they remove some tonsils now. This shit's healed up in a week. <laughs> uh, but bro, man, this has been so amazing. But this is, this is as much as I have time for right now. Oh, no doubt. We can we could do this uh, a lot more. Yeah, and I, I ended up coming on late. But yeah, man, this is a... Uh, this is this is something good, bro, and I really do appreciate you talking. Any uh any last words? Um, and my last words is love and light. Love yourself. Just sit with yourself. This is the time for us to go in because that's where the true answers are. Put everything in here and make some true sense of it. you have your own truth. You know, the minute you really want to know if that's the truth, you're gonna feel it. It's just going to be like, aha, there it is. Like, bang. This is true. Like, something within you will tell you it's true without even you even going out to check it. Mm -hmm. And if it's a lie, it's be like, eh. Like, you just feel that ill. Like, we have that gut feeling. This is our body's sense in our environment. Like, let it do its job and just listen to it. Yes. Just listen to yourself. Yes. You are like. Yes. Yes. And I agree with him a million percent. As your energy and your frequency climb, these, uh, intuitions and everything get stronger and stronger and stronger and you can't get fooled and you can't be bullshitted by people you will like you will see it so yeah this is it's good talking we will be talking a lot more because this is beautiful man and you know it's gonna take time but we will grow but uh this is try our vision this is shades in motion this is shades in motion yes sir love I'll, and lie to you i'll put his information down it's below it's a profit right there, man. Y'all don't sleep on it, man. Hey, man, I appreciate that. But, hey, bro, you doing the same thing. We're out here to just help people eat better and live better. So, yeah, have a good weekend, bro. Definitely. And um, we got to get back together soon. You too, man. All right. Definitely. Love and light to you all. Thanks for watching. Peace.